This is a Chippy Steam Program brought to you by Barringer Crawford Museum. Hello everyone! Welcome to Chippy Sensational Science Lab. I'm Miss Kim and I thought we could talk a little bit about Earth Day. Earth Day is every April 22nd and it's been going on for 50 years now. It's a day when we can celebrate our Earth and try to do something that might help it to stay healthy. Come on, I've got some great activities. Let's have some fun. I'm sure you've got a lot of bags of candy lying around after all this time we have to do staying inside. We'll get them out and we're going to make a bow with them. And then we're also going to make something fun for you to keep on your desk. It's a way to recycle these and help our environment. You're also going to need some ribbon, some scissors, a glue gun, and maybe even some extra glue sticks. You will also need at least one or two rubber bands, some tacky glue, some Elmer's School Glue, or any brand, and a craft paintbrush to apply the glue with. And don't forget a soup can with the label taken off. Hi! Everyone ready to have some fun and start making our candy wrap? Now just choose one of the bags that you have from all that candy you've been eating over quarantine and you're going to very carefully cut the edges off of each side of the bag. Just want the very edge so that the bag now opens. Once you have both sides cut, then you're going to take your glue gun and you put a very small amount of glue on each side to glue the ends shut. That way both sides are the same and not having one sealed and one not sealed. Now you want to do a fan fold where you're folding just about a centimeter or a half, a little bit less than a half inch. Fold it each way back and forth until you have the entire wrapper done that way. Now you need to flatten out and press down on it so you get the pleats and the folds like a fan. Get one of your rubber bands and put it around the middle of your fans. Now you have a bow or you could turn it into a butterfly. You might have to go back and refold some of the areas or you know, put a little twist here or there, pinch it a little bit more to get it to have the, the right um, body to the bow. You want to get some ribbon, wrap it around the bow, secure it with a little bit of hot glue, and then you can always add an embellishment to the front as well. something that looks like a jewel like this here or you could use bows flowers and even put a bread on the back it's limitless you can even make patriotic ones make them for all the different seasons so you can use them for hair bows you could use them to make little animals like this butterfly you could use them for virtually anything holder for your desk. You want to get a soup can that you've completely cleaned out and taken the label off. Next, you need to get one of your candy wrappers 
and cut it so that you just have the one front side. Cut the edges off so that it is even. I saved the backing so that I can put it on later. Now we need to pour out some tacky glue or you could use school glue. Any kind will do. If you want to add a little water to it to make it a little thinner, that's fine as well. You want to take your paintbrush and then put it onto the can. You don't have to get every little spot, but you want to especially get the edges. Now you want to line up the candy wrapper with your can, usually starting with the bottom and then leaving a little bit hang over the top edge. That way later on you can roll it over. Now you just want to add a little bit more glue to it, roll more of it down, and keep continuing with that. Work in small areas. Once you get all the way around, if there's some part of the can still showing, then you can use that extra piece that you saved from earlier. Once you have the wrapper wrapped around the can and glued down, then you want to put a layer of glue around the top rim on the inside, and you can bend over what you left hanging so that the edge is covered. Now that the edge is covered, you can get some ribbon if you'd like to put around the edges, any place you'd like to embellish it. And there you have it, a great pencil holder made out of completely recycled materials. What a way to help save the earth. Have a great Earth Day!